Do you like VR? I like VR. Do you like free games? I like free games, and I think everybody loves free games. Ah, it's cold. Now, virtual reality is amazing for playing all sorts of different games, but one thing that I think we can all agree on is the fact that it is a lot of money to be spending on these applications, especially when barely any of them come from AAA developers. Now I'm not saying that virtual reality apps aren't as good as the ones that are on consoles, in fact some VR apps are absolutely amazing. Half-Life Alex, Beat Saber, Superhot. But when it comes to free applications, are there many good apps that are completely free on the MetaQuest? Absolutely. In fact, there's so many really good free apps that I've compiled a massive list of free apps. So here are 30 free VR applications you need to try right now. Horizon Worlds is a VR social app created by Meta. The app is completely free and it allows you to play games, socialize with friends, customize your own avatar and even create your own games. This game's initial release date was September 2019 and it did get off to a really rocky start. However, since the years that it has been released, Meta have constantly updated it and it is in a much better position than when it first started. This is a game that at least I'd recommend giving a go. Population 1 is a free to play game that actually used to be $14.99. The game released in 2020 and still to this day it is one of the best battle royale games that you can play in VR. Taking mechanics from non-VR battle royale games such as Fortnite, Apex Legends and Call of Duty Warzone, Population 1 is one of the best shooters you can get on the Quest headset. I think it would be a cardinal sin not to include this game. But Gorilla Tag is a multiplayer game where you get to play tag with your friends in virtual reality. It's pretty self-explanatory and is one of the more fun games you can get in virtual reality. It isn't really my kind of game, but I still recognise it for what it is. It is a really good, unique type of game. PokerStars VR allows you to play poker in virtual reality with all your friends and strangers alike. This is probably one of the more cooler games on the list, especially if you like poker. If you don't really know much about card games, it is also a really good way to get into them, as the gameplay is super non-serious. You can even play around with different props on the table just to ruin everybody else's experience. It really is a load of fun. Moving on to what is possibly one of the most popular VR apps, VR Chat is another social media app where you can interact with your mates, you can interact with strangers as your own avatar. Or, if you don't have your own avatar, there are plenty of different avatars for you to choose from. Many from different games, different TV series, and many different characters throughout pop culture. There are also a lot of interactive worlds to play on, and honestly, it is definitely worth a go, despite it being a bit weird. Noclip VR is a really fun game based off of the internet phenomenon, The Backrooms. The free version allows you to explore four different levels of the back rooms and each and every single one of them are as funny as they are scary and in all honesty it just makes the whole game incredible. I have actually made a video playing this game and yeah there was a lot of screaming. The full version is actually quite cheap in itself but the free version is more than enough. Shootout VR is a really cool game reminiscent of the multiplayer aspects of Team Fortress 2 paired together with an art style similar to Overwatch. Now what's unique about this game is that you can customise your weapons by combining them and the game itself says there are over a thousand combinations for you to make. Each combination having its own unique ability, which makes for a ton of replayability and considering this game is free, well, it's, it's, it's incredible. Elixir VR is a pretty unique sorcery game that also takes advantage of hand tracking. This game sees you playing the role as a sorcerer's apprentice where you get to test and combine different ingredients in order to create different concoctions or just cause as much havoc as possible. Ultimax is a free to play multiplayer game that is very similar to the likes of Rocket League except if Rocket League had big badass robots. The game also allows you to customise your robots with different accessories, different paint styles, gauntlet trails and other things. Roblox, the blocky game that has been available for nearly 20 years, oh my god, is now available on different Quest headsets. And because of this, that means there are a lot of different games that can be played in virtual reality. This just plays like regular Roblox, but you can only join worlds that are compatible with virtual reality, which I suppose there's quite a lot, but there's also a lot of games you can't play. Regardless, if you're a fan of Roblox, it is most definitely one of the best ways to play it. 
Blaston is a free-to-play PvP shooter that specializes in virtual duels. In order to survive in Blaston, the game requires the player to not stop moving. The game has the player dodging incoming shots, as well as trying to hit the enemy. And although this is a free-to-play game, it also does have its own cosmetic store, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but for a bit of extra money you can unlock a whole new range of customization. Big Ballers VR is a sports game that specializes around basketball but also includes other game modes such as baseball. It also has support for up to 12 players at a time and even includes a fitness mode for people who are trying to use the Quest headset for a bit of fitness. Again, there are in-app purchases but all of them are just customization and this game is available on both the Quest 2 and the Quest 3 headsets. Hyperdash is another multiplayer team-based shooter that offers a wide range of game modes. What's cool about this game is it also includes an offline mode where you can play against AI instead of real life players. Some of the different PvP game modes that it has include Payload, Domination, Control Point, Capture the Flag and a load more. Now this is another game that actually wasn't free upon its release, but it became free at the end of December 2023, so I would highly recommend giving it a go. Now Harvest VR is quite a unique game as it's not like a shooter, it's not like a multiplayer game, it's actually a virtual farming simulator. Now this farming simulator allows you to grow plants, sell veggies, fishing, mining, tending to animals and a heck of a lot more. It is also available for all MetaQuest headsets. Rec Room is another VR social media app that plays very similarly to Roblox. However, this came out onto VR headsets way before Roblox did and is still a very good game to play. Primarily focused around different types of sports game modes, Rec Room just has that certain charm and art style to it that just makes it seem like an incredible game, and it is. The game even gives you the ability to unlock customization items, some even inspired from real life events. Gun Raiders is a VR shooter and wow there is a lot of VR shooters that are free. It is a VR shooter that includes a variety of different game modes including Battle Royale. And while the game itself can be played for free it does also offer a battle pass as well as different cosmetic items that are available to buy. First Encounters is a tech demo that comes preloaded on every single quest free but it is also a really fun mixed reality game. Shooting all of these fluffy aliens has to be one of my favourite quest free experiences that I have had so far. It is only a short demo but it is definitely worth a go. Questcraft is literally Minecraft in virtual reality that is available off of the SideQuest store. And because it is Minecraft it plays exactly like Minecraft except the render distance is quite low from my experience. But other than that it is a very solid VR experience. X8 is a VR hero shooter that allows players to play in 5v5 game modes. It also has many versatile hero abilities, it allows you to activate turrets, tripwires, pop smoke grenades and it's Valorant, it's basically Valorant in VR. But don't let that take anything away from this game because it looks awesome. And also it's free. Bait VR is a free to play fishing game. And I know for a fact this is exactly what VR was made for. It includes 8 different lakes and locales, 60 plus different types of fish and it even allows for multiplayer. Need I say any more? SCP Labra is a game that is available on SideQuest that has to do with the SCP facility. Basically there is a containment breach and the objective of the game is to escape the facility alive. Now if I'm being honest this game looks terrifying and I might even do a let's play on it soon. Fun little side note, this game was released on Christmas Day of 2022, which I just think is a funny time to release a game. Banter VR is another social application which I actually did a video on very recently. Now what is special about this social application compared to the others is that Banter VR has really good physics that make it stand out. In the description of the game it describes it as bone lab like physics and in all honesty it's not far off. I would still argue it's very experimental at the moment, but it is definitely worth a try. This is available on the SideQuest store. Duck Hunt VR allows you to play the old NES game Duck Hunt in virtual reality. Obviously. This is a game that is on the SideQuest store and it is a game that has impressed me of how alike it is to the original 1985 game. It looks incredible. 
Okay, so this may seem that I'm scraping at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to free games, but honestly, this tech demo was amazing. Physics Playground VR is actually a very impressive demo. Unfortunately, the creator has stopped updates for now, but for what it is currently, it is still amazing. Penguin Paradise is a game where you get to play many different game modes as penguins. This includes game modes like sled races and battle royale, as well as other game modes such as world masters where you build your own penguin paradise world. And that's not even scratching the surface of the amount of game modes that this game has. Epic Roller Coaster is a game where you get to ride virtual reality roller coasters, and just like the last video I mentioned it in, that's all there is to it. Hey, remember that game with the beanbags and the plank of wood that sometimes comes up on your For You page on TikTok? Well now you can play that in VR with 4VR Cornhole. You can choose to either challenge NPCs or real life people and there is an impressive amount of customization that comes with this game. Gods of Gravity is quite a unique arcade style game where you compete in an epic showdown of celestial gods. The objective of the game is to capture planets and be the last one standing alongside your godmates. It even comes with a single player campaign. I wasn't too sure whether to include this one because it is an open alpha and it might not be free in the future, but Mannequin is a self-described 2v3 asymmetrical VR multiplayer game inspired by the likes of Among Us and Dead by Daylight. Basically, two agents have to go searching for three shape-shifting aliens, and if the aliens ambush the agents, then they freeze them in place. Now, I don't really know too much about this game, but it's seriously giving off some prop hemp vibes. And if that's the case, then this could be a very good game. And lastly, I am going to go with Death Roulette VR. Death Roulette VR was created as inspiration from Buckshot Roulette, where you play against admin, an evil AI, in a game of Russian Roulette. There isn't all that much more to say about it, but it is a very interesting take on Buckshot Roulette and it is currently free on the SideQuest app. So there you have it, that was 30 completely free Quest games. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more content like I've shown you today, then it would be highly appreciated if you were to subscribe and even check out one of my other videos. I guarantee you would love them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.